Hello my gorgeous water signs and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Um, I did pull a rune for every sign this week. You are the first sign to have a different rune, um, but I kind of get the reason as to why. I feel like um, water sign energy, I feel like has a very feminine flow to it. So it doesn't matter whether you're masculine or feminine, but I'm just saying the counter energy is that masculine energy, that sun energy. And I'm kind of feeling like it's balancing you out just like the other signs were being balanced out by the feminine energy. So also what could go with this is the sun is a very positive feeling rune, often associated with happiness and the color yellow. Some of its meanings could be the start of something new, making a good decision, choosing the correct answer, having good health, having good vitality slash life, healing, good news, justice where needed, general happiness, and a positive ending to something. Um, which I think kind of makes sense with the cards that jumped out this morning in your pre-shuffle. Uh, we do have the two of wands, and I feel like this is where you're standing. Um, I do get the sense that there were some um, some type of something breaking apart. And I, I do want to say or a breakdown of something in the immediate past. Um, I, I do almost get the sense that this could be love related. Um, but although you might not be arguing with a love partner. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting. I know that sounds a little different, but that's what I'm getting. Um, we do have the Seven of Cups. So I do feel like in this particular uh, set of cards here, the energy is you stepping forward, regardless of what's happened in the past, you deciding what you want in your life. And even though you might not be able to see it very clearly, like where it's going, you're still moving in the direction of forward wherever that is for you. So I really love that energy. You're not allowing, I hear past grievances or things from the past to kind of hold you back. Um, I feel like you've decided that you're going to keep moving forward. Um, you might be moving towards someone as well. Yeah, maybe to speak a truth. I was kind of getting that. Um, again yes um maybe about this disagreement or whatever happened in the past you could be explaining to someone i do feel like this is someone who wasn't actually involved in the situation um or very little uh involvement i feel like I feel like this week you might be getting your ducks in a row. You could have somebody coming towards you. It might not be you doing the action-oriented moves or speaking this truth. You could have someone coming in. So it could go either way. Just, you know, get it how it fits. And if it doesn't, toss it out. Um, we do have this Nine of Cups. And what I'm kind of feeling with this Nine of Cups is I feel like you or the person coming in towards you sees you as a sort of emotional happiness. Um, and I feel like, or, and maybe also a sense of stability kind of sits with you. Um, and I feel like they're looking to, I hear cash in on that. And I feel like it's not in a bad way. I just feel like this person knows a good thing when they see it. And I feel like you're the good thing they're seeing, right? Um, you might not see this coming. I always kind of get blindsided is what I hear. So I don't know if you're going to be blindsided by this person coming into your life. I feel like this person might have just really come into their power. I kind of get they're just realizing that they have all the tools necessary to make this come together. Or this could be you. You could be realizing your power and seeing you have what it takes. I feel like you've maybe been off balance for a while or your person has been off balance for a while. We do have the Hierophant here. So it could have to do with some type of contract or uh, legalities might be in the way. You might've had to get a divorce or somebody else might've had to get a divorce. 
or this is just the breaking down of a solid connection, maybe. So this could be you breaking down a solid connection in your life because of past um, arguments with someone or a group of someone's and maybe deciding to move forward fearlessly in the direction of your passion, your dreams, your own stability, um, your own emotional fulfillment. You could be on your own right now. I do feel like I'm talking to a single person and perhaps a single person that wants to be in a connection. I am seeing those cups. Um, so it's kind of making me think there might be some competition or you assume that there's competition or the person coming towards you assumes that there's competition this week. Um, but I feel like, yeah, it doesn't stop them from, that's what I'm thinking. This person or you is on your way to, I'm kind of getting really flip floppy energy. So I feel like it could go either way uh, for you water signs, whether you're the one going towards what you want or someone's coming towards you. Either way, we have this um, want for emotional fulfillment and not afraid to go off in search of what it is or who it is or where it's, you know, I feel like it's with who is kind of what I hear. So I feel like I hear it's a shot in the dark, but I feel like you feel that there's something there or this person feels that there's something there with you this week. I don't know if someone used to hold back and I do kind of feel like someone was holding back with their time, their effort, their energy. Um, and there could have been reasons, like I said, this in the past kind of makes me think that there was something going on in the past or, um, goings on in the past that blocked a situation out or a path out for you. This could be a, um, this doesn't have to be a person. This could be emotionally, um, moving in a new direction because you want to go somewhere where you don't feel like you have to pinch pennies, where you um, can feel more free to um, make a little more money or have room for advancement. It could be something like that where you don't have to feel like you have to hold on so tightly to everything, that every little bit that comes in. Um, you might be looking to go somewhere where you feel more fulfilled and that could be in the job sector. Uh, whatever area of life this is for you water signs I do feel like you're going to be putting the work in or this person is going to be putting the work in if it's a person yeah I do kind of get the sense that somebody wants to come out of the cold um I feel like they have the want I don't know if I feel like this person if you're dealing with someone I feel like they're not sure if they're going to be able to rectify the situation, if they're going to be able to heal this. Um, I feel like they're looking for illumination in this sense. Yeah, it's that kind of came with it. I feel like they're, they know that there's love to be had, but they're still not sure if it can be had with you. Um, it's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like no more waiting. That's why I do feel like this person could show up this week or you might be making a move this week. Um, yeah, there was an ending in this situation, if that helps any. I do feel like some of you are trying to figure out who this actually is that might be coming back around. I feel like maybe there's one or two that you wouldn't want to see come back around and maybe one that you wouldn't mind if they came back around. I feel like whoever this person is, they've tried to look into you from afar and have not been very lucky, or this is your energy. I uh, haven't been able to find out what they're really looking to know. Maybe they're trying to figure out if you are with someone or in a relationship already. Um, I feel like the choice has been made. I, I feel like there's no discrepancy about what the choice is. Um, it's like we've already made up our mind. Um, yeah. Yeah. We already made up our mind. This could be your energy, could be someone else's, but I feel like the choice is very clear. This may, yeah, this fool's leap may come with burdens, but I feel like it would be a burden in the sense of healing a situation that was once broken. And then once that's healed, I feel like, um, you know, there's the companion there, that loyal uh, friend here. So, there is the opportunity for two to move forward in this full energy. And I feel like you'll never know unless you take the chance or that's the way your person is thinking. 
Yeah. I do feel like this has a relationship energetic to it. Um, like I said, we do have that masculine action oriented energy and it is sitting in your energy this week, which makes me think that some of you could be the ones taking the action steps towards someone, maybe to heal a situation. Um, I feel like someone in the situation felt, or both, it could have been both of you, maybe felt that there was, uh-huh, um, maybe felt that there were, um, at any given time that there was going to be like a rejection and maybe that's what kind of held people back from actually fully expressing how they felt or what they thought or where what they wanted. Um, we do have that uh, Three of Swords jumped out on its side, which lets me know it could go either way or that's the mentality of the person who wants to step forward uh, to heal this situation. You know, they could end up feeling broken or they might be able to heal this altogether. Yeah, they, they're just not sure, and I feel like I need to put this on its side as well. Um, is it gonna rise up from the grave? Are the two lovers going to have a restart or is this done and over, right? So that's the question. I feel like whoever, yeah, there, there's going to be, there we've got those arrows of love, that swift communication coming in. And I do feel like it's passionate communication as well. I do feel like you have someone coming in. There, it, you know, it's not with that. Like I said, it's not without its burdens. It's not without its toxicity. This situation would need to be healed before uh, that fool's movement forward, right? Um, yeah, this is someone who wants to give in the right way versus over giving to the wrong things. So I do feel like whoever this person is, yeah. I feel like they may have missed a few opportunities when it comes to you. Um, could have been up to seven opportunities to kind of rectify this situation. Yeah, I feel like they do want to celebrate. They do want this to be an emotional win here. And I feel like they're hoping that when this is all said and done that they will be able to um, celebrate with you. Yeah, in love. So you do probably have somebody coming in this week who really wants to take the action steps, or this is you. I do feel like it could be a very favorable situation. We ended with the Ace of Cups. So it does look like there is love there on both sides. And where there's love, there's a way. I feel like because there's a will, there's a way. Um, and I kind of feel like you you know it's walking into it knowing it could literally go either way but hope upon hope that it goes in the right way i feel like there is love to be had in this situation with this person um it does look like they're coming in with better intentions okay so let's see we're gonna get you some of these up oh. We've got an O, an R, and an E. All right. Uh, let's see. I definitely chose the wrong sweater today. <laughs> this is not a tarot sweater, apparently. Okay. This is what we have. Now, yeah, I hear mature uh, with this MA. So I, I kind of feel like someone has matured quite a bit. There could be some time in between. They could be around 37 years old. Um, don't have to be 37, 38, perhaps. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing the name Michael. Oh, there is an M, but I'm hearing the name Michael. And I'm seeing an L in my mind. This is a seven, but it was kind of looking like an L to me as well. So, um, an L first or last name could be. Okay. So either you, someone you're dealing with. Don't be deterred if the message resonated and you didn't see your initials. That's just an extra. We have an A, an A, an M, an E, a Z, an I, and an O. Just for extras that kind of wanted to stand out there. All right. Okay, Spirit, what do we have for these gorgeous water signs? Okay. Ooh, we have love. Arrows of love is what I hear. This could have been brewing since around 
maybe Halloween time. Somebody could have wanted to. I hear pumpkin lantern. So it's like trying to see, kind of hermiting, um, and maybe trying to go within to find uh, the key or some understanding in this situation. I feel like there's a bunch of luck and happiness. Look, there's another sun energy coming in with that sunflower. Yeah, this is about the reading specifically. I feel like somebody wants to uh, clamp these two things, or in this case, these two people back together. There could eventually be wedding bells in this situation. Very nice. A definite um, opening up for a commitment. I feel like someone is going to explain the way that they're feeling and the depth of what they're feeling to the best of their ability. And I feel like that's really going to make the difference. Uh, it's going to make or break the situation. Um, so that's also spirit's advice. I feel like if you're stepping towards someone, don't be afraid to really speak with truth and to, to explain in depth what you feel because I feel like this person could be waiting for that uh, deeper kind of connection. And if you're just scraping the surface, you might not really have the time type of luck that you're looking for, or it could be vice versa. Um, we do have this sea turtle here. I do feel like peace is being ushered into this situation. I'm hearing first dance to our first song. So I don't know if this is the type of person where you'll have that special song that you'll dance to at your wedding with. I don't know. I just feel like there's some sentimental type energy that goes along with this. There's also abundance. Um, I do feel like this could be a very promising love match here. Um, like I said, this could have been brewing since around October. Someone could have wanted to uh, step forward or you could have wanted to step forward uh, since then. But I feel like it's going to be favorable, a favorable situation. I feel like this can be fixed or healed. Okay, that is what I have for you, water signs. Thank you for watching. Until next time, friends. Bye.